The idea is to improve water quality, basically, but you do that by improving the quality of the soil. So plant diversity is a key element of um, soil health. Healthy soil leads to um, lots of benefits, everything from increased productivity right through to uh, environmental stuff like healthy water and, and um, reducing any of those sort of impurities that might be in the water. In the sugar industry, we, we seriously lack plant diversity. We are very much focused on this monoculture. I've gone so far as now actually intercropping uh, multi-species of, of up to eight different species in with McCain and, and also uh, dual cropping with sunflowers and, and sugarcane. Uh, one of my favourite species to intercrop is sunflowers and last year with the help of reef catchments I, I planted a, a dual crop of sugarcane and sunflowers. Now the, the idea with the sunflowers was to increase not only productivity but also soil health. I anticipate yields close to 100 tonne to the hectare and if that's what eventuates, which it certainly looks like it's going to, um, I will have proven a system that, that is both beneficial from a productivity point of view as, as well as have um, soil health benefits. Farmers at, at the end of the day have to make a living the same as anybody and, and I can't afford to be um, green, if you will, if I'm not in the black. And that's one of the reasons for the sunflower sugarcane idea, it was to demonstrate that multi-species cropping can actually be performed profitably and have an environmental benefit. There's many plant species that can be incorporated into the fallow and any cane farmer could do that right now. And that will have um, not only productivity benefits going forward, but serious water quality benefits as well. Off-farm impact is as important as profitability. So there's no use in me being profitable if I'm destroying the environment around me. And part of that environment for the North Queensland sugar industry certainly is the Great Barrier Reef. We, we need to protect that.